He's an iconic character in Marvel, thanks to his appearance in Guardians of the Galaxy. Hey guys, today I'll be giving you the comic book origins of Drax. Drax has become an iconic character in Marvel, thanks to his portrayal of wrestler Dave Bautista in Guardians of the Galaxy. And he's also become a fan favourite to some. It's also said that Dave Bautista will be going over to DC when he portrays Bane in Suicide Squad 2. Although that's a rumour, so I wouldn't hold on to it like that. Though he could play him. But, but the origins of Drax I'll be covering basically aren't that similar to that in Guardians of the Galaxy. In fact, in these origins, he's actually started out as human. A man named Arthur Douglas, who is a father and a husband and a pretty big Elvis Presley fan. I mean, you gotta love the king. After seeing him play live in Las Vegas, he was driving the family home when Thanos' first scout mission to Earth actually came across the family, and instead of letting them live to tell the story of the UFO that they encountered, Thanos decided to kill them right off the bat. I know, it's a dick move, but... He actually survived, but his consciousness was put into a new body, which would be the body of Drax the Destroyer. We would also see later on that his daughter had survived as well, although she would become a character named Moon Dragon. But when he had his subconscious put into a new body, he actually lost all memory of his past. So he didn't remember Earth or his life there at all. But it's also revealed that Thanos' father had spoken with his father and asked him to create a warrior strong enough to defeat Thanos because of his actions being, well, terrible. Because of his intentions being to destroy half the universe. So he created Drax's body, which would eventually have Douglas's consciousness in it, and would give Drax the Destroyer, a being whose sole purpose in life was to destroy Thanos. Thanos would be destroyed, but it would be along with the help of Drax, Captain Marvel, and the rest of the Avengers. Specifically, not Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel, Marvel, Captain Marvel. But <clears throat> while Thanos was defeated, he was not actually destroyed by Drax, but rather by Captain Marvel. <clears throat> but Drax wouldn't actually have to wait too long for for Thanos to return when he would be resurrected shortly, uh, shortly after in a few more issues. But his abilities include a healing factor, incredible strength, agility, and he's most famous for his work with blades. But that's it for Drax, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment what you think down below. I'll come back tomorrow to give you more origin stories. See you guys.